You gonna come out the door? Oh. Where'd you guys come from? What the hell? Where did they come from? <laughs> I don't get it. Welcome back everybody to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming and we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. It is Horde Night 35 and it is almost uh, 8 o'clock at night. So as soon as it hits 8 o'clock we are getting the hell out of here. Um, I'm just waiting for a few more pipe bombs and a little bit more steel. Okay, it is 8 o'clock. Let's grab the steel and let's grab the whoops uh, pipe bombs. And we are getting the hell out of here and heading to the Horde base. So we are all ready to go. I've got everything in my inventory that I need. We don't need to shut that. Um, there is one other thing I wanted to do really quick, and that is nothing. Never mind. Let's go. I thought I needed to get something else, but we're good. We're in good shape. So yeah, should be a good horde night. Um, I I bought an Adam Junkies from the trader, so we're gonna start the night. Oh, and I also. Um, I'm going to bring a recog with me too. So the plan is going to be that we're going to start out the night uh, using the M60 until they break, you know, through the first one or maybe two hatches. And then we'll throw back the, um, the atom junkies and then we'll switch to grenades and then pipe bombs for most of the rest of the night. And uh, I'm hoping that we will rack up I, i'm expecting at least two levels and maybe if all goes well we might even get up to three levels uh, tonight so we'll just have to see how things go all right so i will meet you guys over at the horde base all right guys we are ready to go horde night 35 we got lots of ammo lots of explosives uh, we're going to pop the recog first uh, and use the m60 like I said and then once they break through the first one or two hatches We'll throw back the Atom Junkies and then start throwing nades at these guys. Let's wait till they get up there. Okay, let's do the recog. And uh, we are about three quarters of the way to the next level, so let's see if we can get three levels tonight. Eighteen thousand XP so far. There's our first level. Okay, let's get this repaired. We have three minutes left on our recog. I think we might be getting a little bit of damage on the base too, so hopefully that's not substantial. We'll stay with the M60 until the recog's all the way out and then we'll switch to explosives. They still haven't broken through the first hatch. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw back one of these because of uh, our stamina is going down from using the side so much. One minute and 12 seconds left on the recog. They still haven't broken through the first hatch. I figured they would have been through by now. Okay, recog's done. Um, let's go ahead and switch to explosives. We're going to throw down an atom junkies. And we just have to remember to switch away from 
the explosives after we throw. 13,000 XP just for one explosive. That's what I'm talking about. Incidentally, um, 12.2 fixes the issue with the explosive blowing up in your hand, but I'm, as you can see on the, or I'm sorry, 19.2, as you can see, I'm still on 19.1. I'm not going to switch to 19.2 until it's stable. It's still experimental as of, oh shit, that might hit me. Oh shit, I almost forgot to switch. Um, it is uh, October 14th right now. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna switch until they get, um, you know, until that gets disabled. Get more XP from the M60, I think, than we were. I mean, overall, of course, there were still a lot more zombies at that point, too. I have a feeling like we're trickling down to the end of the horde. What's our next level? It's not even midnight yet, you guys. <laughs> Ten thousand seven hundred and seventy four XP from one explosive. Nice. We only have one point in uh, explosives too at this point, but we have to, you know we still have the atom junkies for another minute and a half or so. Five seconds left on Adam Junkies. 11,000 XP on that one. We have killed the horde. Um, and we got well, we got about effectively two levels out of the deal because we're almost at the same place on our XP bar as we were when we started, but two levels higher. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that went very well. <laughs> Definitely went very well. Let's go ahead and pop our luckies on. And check out the loots. How did that? Oh, man, they must have, they must have pushed my, my 4x4 all the way up there because I had it actually parked over here. Interesting. Surprised they didn't try and jump up on it. I thought I heard them busting blocks down below, but I guess guess not. Because, I mean, well, they were kind of hitting on that, but not not much. <clears throat> okay, we should also pop this, too. So they broke through three or two hatches. That's good because less for us to have to repair. There's another chainsaw, but it's a level one. I think I mentioned to you guys earlier that I can make a, a level five chainsaw, which we might end up doing. No, that's kind of a nice find. To keep that in mind. This will just scrap. In the last bag. Food. 
Uh, all right, let's come back and get that. I think that's it. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, repair the place, get everything all repaired back up, and then uh, what do we got for quests? We got a couple of tier fours. We got the school, and we've got the clothing store, which I which is like the Cabela's place. Uh, maybe we'll do that. So um, let me get everything repaired, get back to the base, kind of get situated, and then I'll meet you guys over at Cabela's, and we will uh, do that for the second half of this episode. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to go sell a few things to the trader. Uh, first thing I want to show you is that I did make that blue chainsaw, and I added these mods to it. I had the uh, the fuel tank and the structural brace already. I had to make the wood splitter mod. We're not going to do anything with it right at the moment, though. Uh, we're just going to put it in the tools bin, but we do have that available to us uh, when the time comes. Uh, this guy, we might as well... I mean, we're not going to be able to sell it for very much. The one thing we could do... Is I suppose we could repair it and then put, um, I want to save this for our auger that I hope we will eventually get. So right now this is worth 132 and if we put this on it, it's worth 150. Yeah, <laughs> that isn't worth it. I think I'd rather have the parts. How many parts do we have right now uh, for motor tool? Oh shoot, we still have enough to make a blue auger when the, if and when we ever find the damn schematic for it. So, um, well... I guess we'll do that. We can't use the really sell the green tank on anything else anyway. So um, that didn't really increase the price very much. So it is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna sell all of this stuff that I'm putting on the bottom row here. I also have a, a bunch of gla uh, glasses, yeah, jars that we're gonna use uh, or we're gonna fill up so we can make a bunch more glue. Uh, this is going to be sold too, as is this, because we already have a nail gun down there. And then I've loaded up uh, the four x four with. Uh, several more things uh, so this forge is maxed out on clay but I don't have any more iron to feed into it so I'm just it's just resting right now uh, this one continues you know to do stone for us and these guys are working on concrete this one is working currently on uh, bullets and buckshot so we have we already have our 900 buckshot there and then this guy is just about done uh, this is our steel forge uh, with clay so you know what I'm gonna yeah it's just about done I think I'm gonna pull all that wood back out of there okay yeah so that's where we're at let's see we've got uh, 169 steel ingots and then 504 iron ingots let's put this in the ammunition mats in fact we, we only have 23 paper we need to stop by that paper mill and grab a bunch of paper um, how are we doing on shoddy shells ah, we're okay we're not we're not in too bad of shape uh, I'm pretty low on seven six twos but I'm making more of those uh, in both of these tool benches. That one is done. And we'll just throw those in there. I have two full stacks here, too. Okay, let's head on out. Uh, we did have one screamer come in uh, off camera. She actually did come up the stairs, but, you know, she got blocked, of course, by the hatches, and I was able to take her out without her calling in another horde. The other thing that I need to do fairly quickly here is get some more gasoline. That is all the gasoline that we have. Um, we do have a full tank right at the moment, though, so we're not in too bad of shape, but most likely the next thing we're going to do, or the next thing I should say I'm going to do off camera, is go mine some more oil shale. I had a little bit of a problem with these trees, um, because they're so close together, I couldn't get on the road, and so what I ended up, I tried to go through a couple of them, and I <laughs> actually ended up getting the jeep stuck, uh, over here. And I, it, it was like completely wedged in here, so I had to kind of dig it out, you know, to get it unstuck. So I got to fix that later. But I'm not going to plant another row of trees this close to the road uh, because obviously it didn't. It kind of looks neat though to have those trees down there, but um, yeah, I don't think that worked too well. Or if if the one thing I could do if I if I wanted to leave them there is I would just take out all the the evergreen trees but leave the oak trees in place. So it's you know, we could still kind of, you know, go through this way with the Jeep. So I don't know. I'll have to think about that. It does kind of look neat having those there. So I'll fill all that in later. We still have to cover this too at some point. Lots of things to do. So we're going to head on down to Trader Bob first, and then we're going to cut across to Desert Trader Joel, and then kind of back to the town right below our, our house there um, and do the Cabela's 
uh, quest. So I'll see you over at Trader Bops. Okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff in here uh, that I've fixed up to sell. Uh, so let's take a sugar butts. And then I want to just grab all this stuff. Now I've got a couple of really high value items. I've, I've got this green bow that I put these two mods on so I can sell that for almost two, two grand all by itself. And this is over two grand with these mods. Uh, I didn't have any mods really that I wanted to put on the AK. Uh, so we're just going to sell that straight up. And then um, the rest of this stuff we will also uh, sell too. And we should make a nice little chunk of change with all this stuff. Okay, that's all we can hold right at the moment. So let's go sell this and then we'll come back and grab these other things too. And I don't believe we've checked Trader Bob's inventory since he's reset either. What a wonderful day. All right, so let's go ahead and sell, start selling. All right, so we almost have um, 40,000 coin. We have 37,535. Uh, that is enough to buy uh, a Grandpa's Lord Elixir. Not that we're going to buy that right this moment, but uh, just nice to know that we can afford it. Uh, all right, so what else we got? Bipod schematic. Mm, I, don't, I don't think we need that because we, we have a couple of bipods already. Okay, we got an orange tactical brown AK wood splitter mod automatic weapons shotgun parts. Sorry, okay, yeah, not not interested in any of that. Let's take a look and see what else he's got here. Steel leg armor, it's yellow. Okay, everything else he's got is stuff that I've sold him. Okay, yep, yeah, so he doesn't really have much for us, but that's fine, because now we can hang on to our, our moolah. Gone, sir. Uh, do we have a job from you? We don't. Okay, so we're going back up kind of north, northeast-ish. So we got a couple of clears here. I have a dilemma. That's the I church. That's a good assistance. one. Yeah, let's do the church. God what the hell? You. That's a really good one, actually. Let's check his... Um, thing here we'll take those we'll take those take those and that all right guys we are here let's take out uh yo here we'll check these cars and then um the uh the fat loots are actually very easy to get to in cabela's so we'll do a quick double loot we got a a Home Depot there across the street. It's a good place to go for like electrical stuff and that sort of thing. Yeah, we'll take that. All right, let's offload that. We want to keep with this. Got to remember to go get some water at some point. Do we have water nearby? Yeah, there's some over that way, and then there's some at the pool. Yeah, all right, we'll do that later. I'll keep those with me, though, because we're probably going to find some jars. We almost always do. Okay, let's go uh, do the uh, double loot. So we're just going to go around the back here. Uh, we'll take both of those things, actually. Come here, yo. Didn't I just kill you? Little mannequin action there. So I think we just have to bust through here. Yep, there's a fat loot right there. Oh, yeah. 
You gonna come out the door? Oh. Where'd you guys come from? What the hell? Where did they come from? <laughs> I don't get it. Where in the hell did those guys come from? You guys are dumb. You won't even go through the damn door. That is weird, man. Where in the hell did those guys come from? Did they come from the roof? I am, like, so confused. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. What ifs? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. All right, let's do our double loot here. Oh, crap. We were supposed to sell that shovel. To get it next time, I guess. Got a box there, a box there, a box there. I think that's all the boxes we need to break. Nope, there's one over here too. Hold on, let's put these on. Oh, we got points. We got to deal with points from Horde Knight. I forgot about that. Okay, I'll check that. All right, let's open this guy up. Fortuitous, only took one lockpick. Wow, look at all that stuff. None of it's phantasmagorical, but it's decent. All right, cool. Let's go back around the front and then start a quest for realsies. I'm still a little confused about where those guys came from though. Let's do this. This is a clear and retrieve. We don't want Arlene coming in giving us trouble, so let's take her out first. Alright. So there's a bunch of clothing racks uh, to loot in here. I probably won't loot them on camera. We'll probably do those off camera. Just because, you know, it's just clothing, so it's not like that exciting. You guys are all feral. So yeah, it's just it's just gonna be like basic clothes. I mean, we might find some. Oh, I guess there are bookshelves in here, aren't there? All right, we'll look at those. There we go. That's nice. Um, but all the clothes, I'm, I'll just check later if I even bother checking them all. I mean, you know, we would get we'd be able to salvage for cloth, which is always a good thing. But um, all right, let's see. Here's a bookshelf here. Wasting those heads. Okay, what does this have in it? Just that kind of stuff, okay. So, well, yeah, well, let's check these, these shelves. I guess it's like just, I don't know, food and basic stuff, right? Lots of clothes. Okay, we've got um, some gun racks. Let's put these back on for the gun racks. Uh, that's not bad. Fix that sucker up, put some mods on it, and make some bank on it. All right, let's put these back on. Yeah, that's mostly just food. All right. So I think that's pretty much it for the front part of the building. The one thing I really like about this place is it's, you know, for a tier four questing location, it's it's pretty small. So it's not like, 
really big, you know, where it takes forever to get through it. Take our toilet pistol so we can get parts. We'll take the dirty water for glue. What the hell? We've got um, lots of room in our 4x4. So let's do it. We'll die, we can turn into paint. Oh yeah, I'll bet you we can find some um some sewing kits in this place too. Alright, let's take the paint off of these guys. Is this a college jacket? It sure is. Eh, yeah, we might sell that. We might sell that. Those aren't worth hanging on to though. Take the jars, and I think that's it for here. Let's get our big gun back out. <laughs> Last time I came through here, we got, I remember getting rushed big time. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I meant. Sounds like we got a copper. Show enough. We have three points we got to do now. Let's put our luckies on for a minute and check this bag. Okay, that um, might be an upgrade. It's not going to, it's actually, it is. It's going to give us an extra mod slot and it's an upgrade in anyway. Okay, there we go. Let's modify this. We'll take the splitter off. We'll put that on there, and then we have another slot to put something else on later on. Cool. All right, worth the price of admission. We'll take that. Uh, all right, so we're at the fat loots already. Let's check them out. Yeah, this is a really good tier 4 POI, just here again, because it's not that big. You can get through it really quickly. And it's easy to double loot, too, as we demonstrated earlier. Another bandolier mod. Dog food for learning elixir. Good stuff. All right. Uh, and we got... Oh, you know what? There's something on top of that crate. I wonder if we missed that last time, too. I can't remember. Oh, it's the satchel. Okay. Well, the satchel wouldn't have been up there, so I think we're all good. Let's close those doors. I we'll have a couple more Zikaroos to take care of in there. Okay, let's do the fat loots. We still have our luckies on, right? Yeah. All right, what do we got there? Got some more diamonds. We do have the mod for making the diamond tip tools. Uh, I'm going to have to come back for this. Absolutely going to have to come back for it. Which we will do. Okay, let's finish out the quest. We've got a couple more kills that we have to do. Return to trader. All right, kills are done. Just checking here really quick. Uh, those are probably moderately worth selling, I guess. Okay, we could get some dye off of that. We will take those for sure. That's really not worth much. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. What I'm going to do is go unload, and I'm probably going to come back in here and just loot the crap out of all these clothing uh, places because we'll probably get some sewing kits. We'll probably get some 
uh, maybe some more dye and certainly a bunch more cloth and some leather and stuff. So uh, I will do that, but I'm going to do that off camera. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.